Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make this explosion and containers effect. Let's play back his video and see what we can do first. I will begin with a speed ramp like in his video. Once you have dropped your video into the AE, right click on the video, go to time and select, enable time remapping. At the very beginning of the clip, start moving time remap forward or backward to choose the starting of your speed ramp. I want my video to start from here. Now go a few frames forward like 2 seconds and move time remap forward to choose the ending of a speed ramp. Cut the rest of the video, then select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit value graph. Make a smooth curve here. Enable frame blending on that layer. I will trim my work area, so I'm working only on that clip. Let's quick check the speed ramp. Nice, I'm happy with it. Once you are done with speed ramping, pre-compose that layer, rename it to background and click on OK. Duplicate background layer and rename it to car only. Toggle off background layer for a while. We have to isolate the car from a background now. To do so, grab a roto brush tool and double click on a car only layer. Make a perfect and smooth selection of the car. Once you finished selecting, press space bar and play back the video to check if selection is following the car perfectly. If you are happy with selection, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush, add a feather a bit to smooth the edges. Now toggle on background layer and toggle off car only layer for a while. Then select background layer, go to tracker and click on track camera. Once analyzing is done, select some spots in your video, right click and select, create null and camera. Let's add the explosion green screen video on your timeline. I will cut mine right here and move it to the very beginning of the video. Link explosion video to track null and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale it as much as you want. Then change X, Y, and Z rotations, also position it on your wish. Add a keel eyed effect on it. Select an eyedropper tool and click on a green screen to remove it. Now toggle on car only layer and move it above the explosion layer. That looks cool to me. Let's now bring the container image here. Drop it below the car only layer, and toggle of car only layer for a while. Link container layer to attract null and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale it, then change X, Y, and Z rotations on your wish. I will toggle off explosion layer to see it better. Toggle on car only layer and let's check if it is well placed. I am happy with it, now toggle back on explosion layer and we can start making the effects. Select container layer and press P on your keyboard then press and hold shift and press R on your keyboard, this will bring only position and rotations. Click on Z rotation and position stopwatch icons to create a keyframes. Now go to the moment where the speed ramp slows down and change position and rotation like in this video or make it on your wish. Now go forward from where the video speeds up again, copy second keyframes and paste them there. Then go a few frames forward and change position and rotation a bit. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine, I will match the container fly away speed to the actual video speed ramp. Nice. Now select last 4 keyframes, press and hold alt button and move last 2 keyframes to the very end of the video. Check the video if speed ramp is synced. If not like in my case, select these keyframes again, hold alt and move this two backward a bit. Now that's better. Let's check Jordan's video and see what we can add more. In his video he has made a warp shake effects, I will make the same, but, I will skip this part, check out my video on how I made a JRY media shakes in my previous video. Once that video hits 500 likes, I will drop another shake effects that JRY media and other popular car editors are using. I've made that shakes using these effects only, but a secret sauce is hidden. Let's compare my shakes and shakes by Jordan. They are 99% the same. For a better results, let's add motion blur. First of all select all layers except the shakes and pre-compose them into the one. I will add RSMB plugin. 
If you don't have RSMB, you can use CC Force Motion Blur, that works fine but not better than RSMB. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.